Hello, you must be looking for me. It's me, the boy behind the couch. I live here, behind the couch. <clears throat> it's nice to see you again, and if you're new to this channel, I don't always start videos behind my couch, but I thought, you know, sometimes people hang out behind their couch. It's a perfectly normal thing to do, and I've got a lot of cool things back here. Let me show you. I got this inflatable toucan back here, man. It's the coolest thing ever. Oop. And I also... That's, that's it really, actually. I just had that one thing back here. You may be asking me why I am behind the couch, and to be honest, I just thought it would be like a funny way to start the video. I'm realizing now that I am terribly wrong. And I don't even have my toucan with me anymore. Ooh la la. Okay, this bit's going on for too long, so let's actually start the video. Whenever I see skateboarders in movies or TV shows and they're out skating or doing whatever the cool skater character is doing, they only got one thing with them and that's their skateboard and that's it. And that's just unrealistic. You gotta have the cool rad character only have a skateboard with him, but you don't even have a water bottle, dude. Aren't you gonna get thirsty? I know that makes me sound like an overprotective like soccer mom or something, but like that's just, that's just how I feel. I state strong opinions on this channel. Dogs should be able to vote. I understand that'd be really lame to have a character that's supposed to be cool and edgy also have like a whole backpack of things he brings with him wherever he goes skating. I get it. Just ignore my hair, okay? Like, I don't know what it's doing. It's just like, it's just like on its own vacation or something, just doing whatever the heck it wants. Anyway, today I just wanted to talk about some things that I would recommend you bring when you go out skating just to make your skate session a little bit more enjoyable. And then I'm gonna show you the things that I bring when I go skating. Keep in mind though, these are just my personal suggestions. You can listen to me, you don't have to listen to me. You can bring whatever you want. If you wanna bring a concrete block and a 54 inch 4K TV, then go for it, homie. No one's stopping you, I'm not stopping you. People will think you're crazy, but whatever, man. That's something you just gotta roll with. I recommend you at least bring a water bottle, okay? Like, stay hydrated, homie. You should be- are you drinking water right now? You haven't drank water all day. You've had three coffees. Go get water now. I just realized I lectured you as I'm on my third cup of coffee today. This list mainly applies to skaters who are out skating, you know, at like a basketball court or like a tennis ball court or just like a concrete slab or even like a skate park. But if you're out like trying to cruise around downtown and you're trying to look cool af, some of this stuff just might be a little impractical. I'm just letting you know. The first thing I'd recommend bringing and finding is something that you can put all your other stuff in. It can be a backpack, it can be a drawstring bag, it can be a plastic grocery bag, but that one seems a little weird. So, I don't know. If that's your vibe, that's your vibe, you know? I get it. They do make backpacks that are specifically designed to carry your skateboard. I personally do not have one, and that's because I mainly just skate at either the skate park or some tennis courts. It just, it's kind of an overkill for me, okay? If you're out cruising around downtown and you need to run into like a coffee shop, or maybe hit up a Barnes & Noble, you really need to pick up the latest gossip magazine, then this backpack is practical because you can just throw your skateboard on it, walk on in, and the security guard's not gonna be like, hey, that dude has a skateboard. Kick him out. They still might do that, but I'm just saying I don't, I think it's less likely that they would do that. The next thing I recommend that you bring is a big old bottle of water. You're gonna get sweaty and hot skateboarding around, even if you are just cruising, so hydrate up, brother. There's nothing worse than skateboarding for like half an hour doing a lot of cool things, and then you realize, I have no water. That's big time sad energy right there. If you don't have any water with you when you're out skateboarding, it's gonna be a rough skate session, or at least you're gonna feel like SpongeBob in that one episode when, he, when he's not getting any water. You're gonna feel like that the whole time. I'm getting thirsty just thinking of that scene, homie. It's gonna get hot out there. Mr. Sun is a mean dude sometimes, and you're gonna want some water, so just like prepare. You can get like a 64 ounce water bottle at Target for like 11 bucks. I forgot how much it was, I had to check my notes. Just remember that the more water you bring, the longer you're gonna be able to stay out and skate, 
So just bring enough water to stay hydrated, okay? Next on my list of things I recommend you bring is some sort of snack. Personally, I'd recommend going with that healthier option. Maybe grab a granola bar. Maybe grab a fruit. Anyway, bring something that's gonna give you an energy boost. I wanna recommend like bringing a bag of potato chips or something that's gonna make you feel all groggy. Cause like, if you wanna keep skating, the last thing you're gonna wanna do is feel groggy, you know? Groggy is a weird word. I personally rarely bring snacks when I go out skating cause the most I'm ever out skating is like two hours max. And a boy can eat before or after. He doesn't need to be eaten while skating. If you're planning on being out for a while, bring a snack, okay? So far, my, my list has consisted of things that seem pretty obvious, you know, water and a snack. It's like basic human living. You could apply that to pretty much any circumstance in life. So yeah, stay hydrated, don't get too hungry, okay? I'm worried about you, bud. Another thing I recommend is some way to play some music. Music can make or break an entire skate session according to me. Depending on when and where you're skating, you could either bring some wireless Bluetooth headphones or maybe a wireless Bluetooth speaker if you're skating with some friends. When I have headphones in when I'm skating, it really just helps me focus on tricks and what I'm doing and not the world around me. There's a lot to distract you. So like having headphones in, Cancel out that noise, baby. Just make sure that if you are using wireless headphones, you're aware of your surroundings. Make sure no one's gonna hit you with their car or hit you with a bat and take your skateboard or something like that. Just be safe, okay? Whenever I go out skating, I always make sure I have my skate tool with me and I'd recommend you bring one too. Especially if you're planning on skating on some cement or rougher terrain, I really recommend you have your skate tool with you because that rough terrain is gonna rattle your board and the bolts and nuts are gonna become loose and no one wants to lose a nut. <coughs> Thank you. I wasn't planning that joke. Nice. If you aren't sure what kind of skate tool to buy, you're in luck because I already made a video about it. So there you go. Look at me being prepared for class. <laughs> the last thing I recommend that you bring is some kind of phone tripod and that is for a variety of reasons. I guess this one is more of like a luxury item, if you will. I guess you don't really need it if you're going out skateboarding, but just hear me out. I personally like using my phone tripod for two different things. The first reason is that if you're out skating alone, a phone tripod is gonna be a great way to help you record all those cool skate tricks so you can show it off to your friends, family, and crush. I know that's why you're posting, I get it. I mean, technically you could always use like a fence or like a rock to prop up your phone and record you doing your cool trick. But like, come on, man. We strive for excellence here. Another thing I use my phone tripod for is just keeping my phone out of my pocket and off the dirty ground. It's nice not to have to worry that your phone's on the ground and you might accidentally roll over it or your skateboard might go rogue and hit it. When it's on the phone tripod, it's out of the way. You can see it. It's all good. Also, just a side note, I've noticed before that my Bluetooth headphones stay connected better if my phone is on my tripod. I don't know the science behind that. I'm assuming just because it's like not on the ground and it's a little in the air. I don't know. I didn't invent Bluetooth 3.0. I just know it works better when it's on the tripod. So I gave you my list of recommendations on things to bring when you go out skateboarding, but I just wanna show you the specific things that I bring just so you know. Show and tell time, I guess, I don't know. All these items will have links down in the description if you wanna check them out more for yourself. Go wild, but not too wild. You will notice that some of the things I bring are things that I didn't recommend or did recommend. And like I said, it all just kind of depends on what your skate session looks like. This is specifically for when I go skating. What you bring skating is going to be completely different and that's cool, yo. So the first thing I'm going to I'm going to talk about my my bag that I bring and I know y'all are going to make fun of it cuz it's nasty and ugly. But like it works for me, okay? I should probably get a new one. I just haven't yet. So this <laughs> I just bring this little drawstring bag with me. It says Geek Squad on the on the back of it, which is very nerdy and cool. It's because I worked at Geek Squad for a while. It's not that cool, yo. I've been meaning to buy a better bag or like a backpack or something. But honestly, you know, it's like, don't fix what ain't broken. This works for me. It gets the job done. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but whatever. It's actually starting to rip, so I'll probably need to get a new one soon anyway. If I had to upgrade, I would probably get just like a small backpack with multiple pockets. Uh, the only problem with having a bag where you just toss everything in is it can be a pain to find things. 
I can't even find, ah, the thing I'm looking for isn't even in the bag. See, that's what I'm talking about. Can't even find things. The next thing I always make sure when I go out skating is to have my wireless Bluetooth headphones here. These are the Knackfire E60s, I believe. These are actually a pretty solid set of headphones. I got them off Amazon for like 30 bucks. They actually do do enough, do do. <laughs> They actually do enough noise cancellation where I'm not like hearing everything around me, but I can still hear my skateboard. I'm just letting you know what I think. For a cheap pair of headphones, these boys get the job done. They're very good quality. They're super comfortable. I dig them. I will give you one complaint about these things though, is when you have them in your ear, if any sweat gets on either of them, they sometimes will increase or decrease the volume. That's my only complaint. And that's more of a Z-Boy issue than it is a Bluetooth headphone issue. It's not the headphones fault that I'm sweating. I always bring this green little skate tool out whenever I'm out skating. Um, I've had this bad boy for a long time and it's old, reliable. The only issue I have with it is that this piece falls out super easily. So that can be a pain. Like I said, everything gets lost in that bag because I'm an unorganized mess. But yes, this is a good guy. You can trust this guy. I, I would trust this guy with my life. He knows my social security number, this guy. Next we have this long boy here. This is my phone tripod. The way it sits sometimes on my backpack, it almost looks like I have like an antenna coming out of my back. Like I got wireless internet with me at all times. Like I'm a, like I'm a human router or something. So that's cool. It, it adds a vibe for sure. I've had this little phone tripod for about a year and it gets the job done. The only complaint I have about, I have a complaint about everything it seems like. The only complaint about it is that it is a little wobbly at the top here. So sometimes uh, it's hard to get the phone to stay perfectly straight. But honestly, I only paid like 20 bones for this thing. So I'm not really complaining. I'm, well, I am complaining, but I'm not really like upset about it. It's great if you're like me and you skate alone a lot. And that sounds really sad, but I promise it's not. Obviously, as a human boy, I need to stay hydrated. And this is typically just the water bottle I'd bring. Um, it ain't anything special, <laughs> just your standard water bottle. However, when things start heating up, when it's getting a little too hot out there for me, I'll whip out this bigger water bottle. And that's just because I can carry more water with me. Does it keep it as cold? Absolutely not. But I get to drink more water, so I mean, I guess it kind of balances itself out, no? Obviously, I don't bring this big boy out every single time I go skating because it's kind of a pain to drag around. But if it's a particularly hot day, you know this boy's gonna be with me. If you just want a lot of water, maybe not be a, a lot of cold water, if you just want a lot of water, that's your boy. The last thing I bring when I go out skateboarding is the skater trainers. If you watch my review, I mentioned that I was gonna probably just bring them whenever I go skating. And I do bring them whenever I go skating, but I haven't really used them yet. And that's mainly just because I haven't been working on a trick where the skater trainers could benefit me. I just put them in that bag when I made that video and I just haven't really taken them out yet, to be honest. So that's everything that I bring skateboarding and I hope the list I gave you was helpful. Again, it's all just personal opinions, personal recommendations. Let me know down in the comments if I missed something or what you bring when you go out skating. And again, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you wanna see more skateboarding content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, y'all are the best, and as always, have fun, good luck, and keep shredding the gnar.